One of the most families of enormous wealth have dark and sometimes scandalous, even monstrous past. Donald Trump's clan is no exception to that rule. In this video, I will give a breakdown of that. Okay, we all know Donald Trump is a loudmouth brat and who have made headlines from his money-making deals and family name. But him wanting to run for president and seem to be pretty darn close to winning, but the question is why is he winning and what is the true agenda? But in order to do that, we have to go back. Back in the past and his family history. Okay, if you didn't know, Donald Trump's grandfather was a pimp and a tax evader. His father was a racist who, in the course of his life, clashed with New York police as a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And then as a wealthy real estate magnet, refused to rent to people of color. Donald Trump's legacy is anything but rags to riches story. His dad kicked the bucket with 250 to 300 million dollars in the bank. The man who wants to ban all people of particular religion from travel wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. His was white gold. The only thing more obnoxious than Donald Trump himself is his family money grubbing bigot history. That's a nice way of saying it. Trump made his first fortune in operating boomtown hotels, restaurants, and brothels. It's more accurate according to the CBC News report. Donald Trump's grandfather ran Canadian brothel during Gold Rush. Trump's grandfather was born in Germany to parents who were employed by a vineyard. He moved to New York City in 1885 where he became a barber. Now after six years of this, Frederick Trump moved across the United States to Seattle, Washington where he owned and operated what he referred to as a decadent restaurant that was actually called Poodle Dog in Seattle's red light district. Okay, the name concept that had already been established in San Francisco, he named his restaurant after Dog, but will later make money selling horse meat. Around this time, Frederick Trump became a US citizen. Donald Trump has often said he made his money the old fashioned way. And this is true. He did prosper from racism, if you want to call it the old-fashioned way. A New York Times article published an article back in June 1st, 1927 related to Donald Trump's father, Fred Trump's role in the Ku Klux Klan brawl that pitted 1,000 Klansmen against 100 New York City police in Queens. Though he wasn't officially charged, Fred Trump was one of seven Klansmen arrested during the incident. It probably wasn't very shocking at the time, as America's racist practices were in full swing generation after Abe Lincoln freed the country's African American slaves. In fact, the mid 20s saw a peak in the KKK activity. Donald's father was among many lynchings and hangings of blacks back then. Donald Trump will later deny his father's involvement in the KKK brawl, in spite of the fact that it happened two decades before he was even born. Fred Trump's enthusiasm for racism practices never changed until he was forced to do so by law. Now, President candidate Donald Trump joined his father's real estate company in New York in 1971. We're going to fast forward here. And, the only, and only two years later, the company was served with a civil rights lawsuit that was filed against the Trump organization because he refused to rent to black people. So ask yourself, what is his true agenda? And who is backing him up? Well, remember what I just said. Donald Trump and his father are part of the KKK. And there are some pretty powerful people in that racist clan. And they've been wanting to get America back to where it was when it was segregated, quote unquote, great again. They believe that blacks are taking up, which is straight bullshit, but whatever. Donald would not be running America if he becomes president. He's only the face of it. Donald is merely a spokesperson for the campaign. He's been known to be a clone as well. And there seem to be two Donalds. Take a look at this video. This election, let's talk about the election. You know, as, as, as we speak today, it's down to uh, Hillary, Bernie, and Trump. Yeah, but see, you, you're talking to the wrong person. I never believed there was going to be an election this year, mm -hmm. and it's not. Mm -hmm. hmm? Trump ain't got no money. Trump ain't never had no money. Hmm? They talk about his daddy. You ever seen a picture of his daddy? You ever seen anybody write a story about his daddy? Uh, no. No, I mean, they, they got his money from his dad, yeah. 
I didn't well, ask you that. See, you keep talking to me. I don't want to hear. I asked you, have you ever seen a picture of his daddy? No, I have not. Have you ever heard a story about his daddy? And that don't bother you? Mm. Huh? That don't bother you? Mm. And so much of us out here been talking to shit. His sister had the whole press conference and said, no, he didn't give him no hundred million. He gave him a million dollars. I wonder why he didn't give me none. Huh? Mm. You know? See, if you're getting in this here, you're going to call because you're going to move the people more powerful than me. They ain't going to talk to you if you don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. The fuck I'm going to talk to you about money if you ain't got none? Mm -hmm. hmm? That's what this shit is about. That's how NBC and ABC, that's why I look at them. Not that I believe them, they got a trillion dollar industry to do the research and I can pick it apart. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's simple. So, I, well, I know you, you don't expect there to be an election, but did you think Trump would get as far as he has? I didn't know who it was. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look, let me show you something here. Let me show you the shit that I know. It's the Wall Street Journal. It's one of the most powerful papers in the world. I don't mean it's no good. What's the date? Now, hold it one minute. Hold it. Ho, 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 ho. I ran for president. 1968. The election was Tuesday, November the 4th. This story ran Friday, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm -hmm. 7. Now, what's the date on that? What, what, what paper is that? Uh, Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. November 7th, 1968. Page Headlines. Six. Election computer goofs gives Gregory 9 million votes. That's why you can't talk to me. I got too much information. Mm -hmm. I got nine million votes in the state of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what fasting do. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now read the first, the first paragraph. Some machines just aren't to be, to be believed. Take the big computer in New York that was designed to compile results of Tuesday's general election. All elections are tabulated in New York City. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, at one point early yesterday morning, the machine was crediting Dick Gregory, the comedian turned presidential candidate, with 9 million votes in Pennsylvania. Now, here's what happened the energy took over the computers, mm -hmm. and they had to shut them down because they projected me as president elect of the United States. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't change it. Because they couldn't change the numbers. Wow. Nine million votes in one state. I know what it was. They went in there and tricked the machine for Nixon, but somebody put it on wrong, and they gave it to me. So I'm going in the election and know all this bullshit y'all read. It ain't true. It is just like they did that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Just like they did that. Hmm? Yeah. Um, the one time Trump lost, he said it was rigged. Hmm? The, the few weeks ago First, Trump there's saw. two Trumps. Okay. The one in the red tie is the real one. The one in the blue tie is not. The one you saw last night after the victory was the blue tie. Mm. Now, if you would punch up uh, Dr. Carson, Ben Carson, when Trump called him a pedophile, and the next day he joined Trump, and the guy asked him, see, every now and then you slip and say something? He said, why'd you do that? He said, it's two Trumps. <laughs> I was with the good one. <laughs> okay, if you all know your history and have read, Donald is known for killing, raping, stealing, conning, and scamming companies, people, and countless others. And guess what? He's never paid for it, and guess what? He never will. Just like George Zimmerman, the murder of Trayvon Martin, and the son of one of the members of KKK, you see they have high people in high places. Now, what Donald doesn't know is that this is a different time and generation, and lots of people are not as racist as these old generation and small, young percentage racist KKK clan members are. So, this idea of him getting elected is a huge gamble that many of the clan members are reconsidering. But the question is, are they really? Because we have to understand they want the old America back, and as I quote again, America great again. And they want it bad. But the struggle between the old and new generation is the issue. 
Not to mention God is working this election and he will have the final say. Donald is a con artist as we all know and he's known for his embellishment and elaboration. He says he's the greatest and that he's so smart but the truth is he's not. He schemed his way to the top. He's nothing more than a spoiled big mouth brat who used to get in his way. He's not running for president because he cares, he's running because he's broke. And he says so himself. Take a look at this video. Standing tall as a new money bastion for Trump's version of the American dream. Trump is the sort of most democratic billionaire if there ever could be one. Anyone, if you have the money, can get in. And I think that speaks, that's a very powerful message that Americans connect with. This is the country where everyone thinks they can make it big. Still, Donald strives to be just a little bigger than everyone else. If you lost your fortune today, what would you do tomorrow? Maybe I'd run for president. I don't know. Would you like to be the president of the United States? I really don't believe I would run. I would love and I would, I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life. And I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. And that's a sad commentary for the political process. Okay, now I know most of you are saying that you're not saying anything we don't know. And I'm sure you're going to make that well known in the common area. But here's some new news for you. Don't you know that most killings, rape, and domestic violence cases aren't from the black community? The media only run violence from the black community because it sells more. You have to understand that all of the media is ran by six companies and all of them are all members of the KKK. They can't slave black people anymore so they found another way to make money from blacks. Use blacks for entertainment and slaves to the TV industry. All of the great said it prints with the word slave on his face, Michael Jackson with his news protests and songs. Shaka Khan interview with Piers Morgan, Jimi Hendrix countless interviews, Kanye West rantings, Tyler Perry after play speeches, and so on and so forth. I mean, have you noticed that whenever they come out with some reality show and or TV show, most ratings and interests are in all black shows. No one wants to watch overprivileged Caucasian people. They much rather watch blacks because they're more entertaining. Down is among these evil people and He's ruined many black people before, such as Bill Cosby for insulting him on national television, Wesley Snipes for insulting him in an interview. He sends the IRS, the media, after these people. Will Smith is currently in the midst of his fire, but may withstand it because he's very smart and have one heck of a fan club. Not to mention Will somewhat abides by the rules and try not to get too mildly like some other people. He doesn't follow so abiding like Denzel Washington, Samuel Jackson, or new member Kevin Hart, but he does somewhat. The question is, will times go backwards or will it backfire and martial law will be enforced? What is martial law? I'm sure you guys are wondering what that is, and I'm sure you have heard about this before. It means military government involving suspicions of ordinary law. And stay tuned for part two for me to explain that.